It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down. Actually, no, it's Saturday. We're not doing that again. No, but what we have in this video is Rebecca Black OS. Oh no, why? What an awful name. But before you can think I've completely lost it here, hear me out. What Rebecca Black OS is, is a release of Kubuntu 12.10, so it's development at the moment, but it has Wayland Display Server instead of Xorg. Actually, it's sort of, it's running Xorg alongside Wayland and you can switch between the two. So, why do we need Wayland? Well, if you haven't heard of it before, it's a new graphics subsystem or graphics display protocol for Linux. So, what we have at the moment is Xorg, and that has been around since, oh, I don't know, the dawn of time, actually 1984, which does make it slightly younger than me. No, it predates Windows 1 and was initially designed to be a method of running multiple terminal programs, not a method of running multiple monitors, I don't know, at 1080p with flash videos and fancy graphics and gaming. No, it was never designed to do that. It has been cobbled together later on to do that. And that's why the graphics in Linux is poor <laughs> at times. No, we'll, we'll crack on and take a look at this. So I'll start it up from VirtualBox. Yeah, I'm running it as VirtualBox rather than the full system install. Yeah, I just didn't really have time today to get that done. But it does work in VirtualBox, sort of. You just can't get the resolution up that high, that's the only problem. So choose a display server. Oh yes, we're going to go with Wayland. So I believe Wayland was due to be released into 12.10. Ubuntu 12.10, but Canonical have postponed it for another six months, so we might see it in 12 in 13.04. Maybe, yeah. So yeah, we've got the information there. This is a third-party fan-made distribution. Fan-made. By the way, I was one of the 700,000 people who disliked Rebecca Black's video. What an appalling atrocity it was. So we'll fire it up, just go over to Terminal, and you've got a few instructions here on what you need to do. So, as it says there at the top, you can run Western Cooler. don't think you actually have to be sudo, because it does sort of work, as you can see here. So this is Kubuntu running in Wayland here. And you see it's not really working very well, it's a bit slow to respond, the graphics are shooting up in different positions, not always showing, you get the black bars instead of the actual message. And now I can't click off the menu. Anyway, got these little tests we can run here. Yeah, it doesn't appear properly. Don't think I can. Oh, can I resize it? Yeah, I can resize it. So we can go for ooh, some animated text. Oh, no, we've got gedit instead. Hi there. Some animated text. Scribble. So the mouse and program are in the right place this time. I'll go for another one. Try and open up the QT calculator. The Qt calculator. See, so yeah, it's all working there. I could try and open up Reconc and try a flash video when it wants to respond. Oh, right, okay, the menu's right back there. <laughs> Very good. Re Oops, I've spelled that wrong. It's reconk with a K. Yeah. Oh, are we working? Yeah, we got it. And these are some favourites it comes with. Oh, yes, Rebecca Black, Rebecca Black's channel. Oh, dear. I can't move the scroll bar. In fact, I can't even open the bookmarks. Can't do anything now. Great. So as you can see, it, so it's running well here, isn't it? Not. So I'm just going to close it and I'm just going to start again. Right, let's try a second time around with reconk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
can't get it work. Can't get it working this time. <laughs> so yeah, that's about what you can see in Rebecca Black OS. Kind of attempt at getting Kubuntu to work with Wayland Screen Server. Doesn't really work that well, but you know, if you want to try it out, see how it's coming along, feel free. But that's about all I'm going to show you of it. So thanks for watching. See you later.